What we see on the shelves of European supermarkets, pretty much everything we eat in Europe is affected at least in some way by the EU's common agricultural policy. The cap, for short, simply put, it's the money the EU gives to farmers. At over 58 billion euros per year, the cap is without doubt the largest fund the EU runs. It made up 39% of the last budget, triple what it pays for job creation, for instance. The common bit of the policy is because all of the rules for all of the EU member states are set right here in Brussels. It's one of the few policies where the EU has full control. The agricultural policy is a very, very, uh, very expensive, but at the same time, I think we need to explain to our people that this budget is not just for 10 million farmers, but this budget is for 450 million people. Until now, the cap has worked through two so-called pillars. The first one, giving money to farmers to support their incomes. The second, funding projects in rural areas to make them more attractive to live in. But the European Commission has proposed a reform to the Common Agricultural Policy, which outlines nine specific priorities. The focus is far more on protecting the environment and biodiversity. The proposal was for a €365 billion Euro fund for farmers for the budget to run between 2021 and 2027, an estimated €5 billion Euro less per year than before. We didn't even ask for an increase of the budget per se. We said that please at least keep the level so that we can actually make the necessary investment for the more sustainable production and we could actually make a living out of this. But the COVID-19 crisis is forcing a delay to the reform plans and agreements being made for the current system to roll over until at least the end of 2022. It means a delay to potential changes, such as greater social protection for those working on European farms, a hot topic these days. Most of the money right now is handed out purely on per square kilometre basis, per hectare basis. Uh, we hand out the money kind of regardless whether the farmer is then doing a good job for the local community, a good job for the environment, a good job for, uh, for the animals. The common agricultural policy is a perennial battle here in Brussels and around Europe's capitals. And we haven't even had a moment to discuss how much Brexit has affected the debate.